Hi, I'm Dr. J, Guardian of Time, and we are going to talk to you today about the Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. Tammy meets them, and we'll find out what that's all about. In this magical tale, Mistress Wuthering'ton must see that the legendary gold of Mansa Musa is not stolen in the year 1324. And many questions need answering, right? Are Alibaba and the 40 Thieves really the rogue bandits that everyone believes? Or are they up to something else? Now, let me take a moment here, and we'll show you some of our Tammy's friends who are in this tale. And here we go. Here we have uh, Zeke over here, and you can see they all play musical instruments. We have um, Cedric, the mongoose, and we have Alfred. Uh, he's known as Alfred the Great. And he changes sometimes from a mouse into the king of, of Cairo. And then in this story, Polly is the magical vulture, and she follows them for the rest of the diary, and she helps them ride from place to place uh, when she is... Through a magical spell, she goes very large, and she can give them a ride, and then she can be small again. So she's a magical bird, no question about it. And in this tale, there are gigantic vulture riders. They control the skies, and banished elves rule the underground kingdom side by side with enormous deadly scorpions. The story is historically accurate. In this Arabian tale, the great legendary king, Mansa Musa, made his holy trek from Timbuktu to Medina with 100 camels, each bearing 300 pounds of gold. This was a city on the move with 50,000 citizens and 10,000 warriors. It was a spectacular show of wealth meant to be dazzled the sheiks and the sultans of Cairo and Medina. The journey was two years from beginning to end and left Arabia in turmoil for the next 100 years. So we hope that you'll give it a try, and I know that you will enjoy it very much. Thank you.